Hello, my name is Julie Fayfan Balzer, and I am a mixed media artist and printmaker. And I have been designing stencils for the Crafters Workshop for more than a decade, which is hard to believe. So I put together this series of short tutorial videos for you. They cover some really important basic techniques that every stencil artist ought to know. And I've also taken the prints that I made and turned them into some very simple cards. So you can see a little bit about how you might end up using some of these beautiful papers that you're gonna make with craft Crafters Workshop Stencils by Balzer Designs. I'm using a gelatin plate and I'm putting out some black acrylic paint. Then I'm using my brayer to roll that paint out. If you'd like to learn more about gelatin printing, I do have several online classes about it at balzerdesigns.com. So I've placed my stencil down and I'm using some scrap paper simply to remove the paint through the stencil. I don't want the paint through the stencil. I know that sounds like an odd thing, but I actually want what's under the stencil. So I'm going to continue to use different scrap paper to remove all of that paint and later on all this pretty scrap paper will become collage paper that I can use in my art journal or other art projects so it certainly doesn't go to waste but now when I remove the stencil you can see there's uh, a beautiful print on the gelatin plate so I'm taking a piece of copy paper you don't need any kind of special paper and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up that print and isn't it fabulous? I love it. It's like stamping with a stencil, but even better. So now I'm gonna take that paper, cause it's dry now, and I'm gonna use a ruler to just rip it. And what I'm doing is separating the parts of the pattern that I want. So you can see that now I have a kind of almost airy stripe. It's got a lot of white space with just some black lines and I'm folding it in a very messy series of pleats. Now these are just big and chunky, absolutely no measuring, no thinking about it. I just want a series of pleats. And then you can see I have a piece of five by seven cardstock that's gonna be my card front face. Now I'm gonna rip down the white edge off of this print because what I want now is, wow, it looks like a totally different piece of paper and yet it came from the same stencil. And I love it when stencils do that, when you can have a lot of variety. By the way, the phone rang in the middle of recording this video, so that's why you saw that jump. So I'm layering the two ruffles together and I'm gonna take them to the sewing machine and just stitch right down that edge. You can see that I also so adhered it onto a card. So now I'm ready to add some embellishments. I picked just a bunch of different red embellishments and I'm using a wet adhesive to put them down, particularly that string, just because I don't want that to come off when somebody actually opens the card. So I'm just going ahead and getting everything put down. I have a little sentiment that I printed out on my computer. When I think about color schemes, I think that red and uh, goes really well with black and white. It's a classic. It always makes me think of kind of Valentine's Day. So that's why that felt like a perfect Valentine's Day card for me and the ruffle is kind of romantic right but just like that a couple random leftover embellishments I have got an absolutely stunning card with some stenciling it really looks fantastic so whether you're a messy artist or a clean one stencils can work for you Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like more great stencil content, I do have a free email course called Stencil 101. And of course, you can visit my classroom site at balzerdesigns.com and find lots and lots of classes of all kinds. My whole philosophy about teaching is that I want you to embrace who you are and to really understand deep down how design and how art goes together so that you can always make the kind of art you want, whether you're in class or not. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will subscribe, like, and comment on this video.